obviously has tremendous number of fans around the world. Many of them would visit Hong Kong and try to commune with him. But many people may not know his house in Hong Kong still exists and has been abandoned for years. My name is Alpha, and today I'm gonna show you the Bruce Lee Mansion. To visit the mansion, you need to go to Kowloon Tong Station, get out from Exit D, and then turn left, cross the street, and walk along Tofu Road and Rutland Quadrant. Turn right onto Cumberland Street and keep walking until you see number 41. And that is the Bruce Lee Mansion. When Bruce and his family moved in the house in 1972, it was called Crane's Nest. Bruce spent his last year in the house before his sudden death in 1973. The house was furnished with style at that time. The desk was one of the places where Bruce composed the theories of Jeet Kune Do. There was a gym with sandbags and other gears designed by Bruce. However, after his death, the house was sold to a millionaire who changed the place to a love motel for rich couples. When the owner died in 2015, the motel was closed down and left abandoned. Even though it has been abandoned for years, I was lucky to see the gate open one time because a few workers were doing their maintenance work for the place which allowed me to take a closer look and imagine how it used to look like back in the days. The site was changed once only in the 70s, so the place still looks similar like before. The setting is pretty much the same. You can see the entrance of the house which was Bruce Gym. I googled the interior of the house and actually it only looked like a typical love motel. Like many other fans in Hong Kong, I hope the government can support and change the mansion to a permanent site of Bruce Lee Museum so the fans can get to know more about the biggest star of Hong Kong. This is Alpha from Hong Kong Guide. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.